Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to a new video. This is a compilation of 50 fall Dollar Tree DIY home decor and room decor ideas. Let me know which one of these is your favorite down below in the comments. Also stay tuned. There'll be a little surprise for you guys later on in this video. So for the first DIY, I am taking one of these wreath forms from Dollar Tree. I found this houndstooth infinity scarf at Dollar Tree. I did cut along the seam so that I could glue this all the way around the wreath and that fit perfectly. I'm gonna add some leaves from a maple bouquet along with some of the tan colored hydrangea. I think these are so pretty from Dollar Tree. And I am going to make use of all the little green leaves as well, adding those in. I'm also taking one of these little burlap leaves. These came in, I think a pack of six from Dollar Tree. Now, what I do is I take the leaf and I'm using that separately and I peeled the wire off the back. And that little piece of wire, if you don't have a pipe cleaner or something, you can use that piece of wire to help you form your bow for your wreath so that is what i'm doing i'm adding some of this glittery orange and gold wired ribbon from dollar tree along with some of this brown and gold deco mesh also from Dollar Tree. And now this ribbon here, you can use whatever you have or something else. Dollar Tree has a lot of choices. I formed a couple bows individually and I basically just did this folding the ribbon in half and half again and again, creating like four or five loops and then leaving one long piece hanging down. And then I just use my little piece of wire to tie off the group of ribbon loops and now we kind of have what looks sort of like a bow and I think what makes it look more like a bow is now when you make a couple of these and you bunch them together and that just gives you that like so many folds and so many loops of the bow. With the um, deco mesh I actually cut three little curls about six inches long and this mesh curls up on itself so I just made these little deco mesh curls, bunch them, and then in the center, I just kind of tied those off. And then they fan out to almost be like a little star shape. So I'm just nestling that in behind the other two bows just for a little extra texture. I did add the burlap leaf on the right side. I've got the flowers on the left side with my bow in the center. And then underneath the bow, I filled in with some extra fall leaves. And I also added in a couple little gold berry pieces. These are actually from a Christmas berry pick from Dollar Tree, but obviously use whatever you like the look of for this, but I liked that it just added a little touch of sparkle to this wreath. We are on to the next one now, and for this one, I took a large poster board from Dollar Tree. Um, this is gonna make like a large sign, and I thought this would be kind of unique. So we are gonna have fun with this. What I am doing is actually taking more of that brown and gold deco mesh from Dollar Tree, and we're covering the front side of that foam board with the deco mesh. Now, in order to keep it in place, I folded the deco mesh around the back and the sides, and the easiest way to keep it down, I know this looks silly, but nobody's really gonna be looking at the back of it, hopefully. I mean, I don't think so. So I'm using popsicle sticks to, with hot glue in order to like push down and glue that deco mesh down. And then I took some of these letters. I Dollar Tree doesn't have them in this size. So what I did was actually get these pretty inexpensively at Walmart. And I just spray painted these wooden letters white to spell F-A-L-L -L and make the word fall. I also took some of the larger wide popsicle sticks and I cut the ends off of those so they would have straight edges and spray painted them white as well. And then I glued those all the way around the outside now of that frame in order to just create what looks like a frame for this piece of decor. Now this could 
could actually, you could make a hanger and hang this on your wall. You could put this up on the mantle, whatever you want to do. Now I took one of these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree and my X-Acto knife and I just cut that in half down the center and I'm using the side that I left the little stem attached as well as one of these little glitter pumpkins and I'm just going to hot glue those on so they there's like a little texture and they're raised coming off the sign. I took some of my favorite burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree along with some of my favorite plaid ribbon. This is my favorite fall ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I took some of that and made a little bow. And then I also did the same thing with this orange deco mesh cutting like six inch long or six inch like wide pieces i guess and curling those up along with some of the brown and gold deco mesh and basically we are just going to pinch all of that together in the center and nestle that in with the burlap bow and the plaid bow and create this little starburst bow to put up in the top corner and i just hot glued all of that in place and i think this looks so cute it's just got a little bit of shine a little bit of glimmer and sparkle but also the subtle touches of a simpler more rustic look with the burlap in there and then the bottom felt like it was missing something to me so I just added in some orange hydrangea from Dollar Tree along with a little piece of the gold berries left over from the previous bunch that I used for that wreath and here is how it turned out. For the next one, I am taking one of these farm fresh pumpkin signs with the little red truck. I think these are super cute and adorable from Dollar Tree. I actually tried painting the whole tailgate of the truck to be red, but the red was not giving me that good of a coverage. If you have a red chalk paint, I think you'll be fine. But with acrylic paint, I feel like it was going to take quite a few coats of paint. And I ended up deciding to actually just paint over the tailgate in the center there with my black chalk paint. And I think this is going to give the best background for what I'm going to do next. Go ahead and take off that sign that says 25 cents per pound. And I flipped it over so that I could paint on the back without having any glitter. And I just painted that arrow now with my white chalk paint. And now this part is kind of optional, but I decided to take some gray or green color paint and just paint over those pumpkins in the back. We're gonna take some sunflowers from Dollar Tree. These actually came larger and smaller sizes. And what I'm gonna also take here are some green leaves off of a flower bouquet. So now for the sunflowers, they came in this pack of six for the larger ones. And I used the whole pack and twisted the little wire just around my pinky finger to kind of give it a little curl in the wire. And then I glued the end of that wire down onto the back of the truck there so the sunflower is actually got like a little wire spring now so it's sticking up off the truck so the sunflower is not glued on the wire is and this is going to kind of give it like a 3d look like you actually have sunflowers sticking up off the back of the truck I then filled in with those green leaves and hot glued those in there and then I came back and added some of the tinier little sunflowers also from Dollar Tree and glued those wires in there as well. Then I took some of this these gold letter foil um, rub-on transfer stickers. These are also from Dollar Tree and I decided to spell out fresh cut sunflowers and I think this turned out beautiful. I love the way the gold letters pop off of the black tailgate and the sunflowers with the golden yellow, black and green is just so, so pretty and bright and fun for an end of summer or fall DIY. And honestly, something that you could use any time of year, really, if you decorate with sunflowers in your home and that's your theme. These are just, this is so cute. I love it. So I decided to now just take a black Sharpie and write 25 cents per stem on here. And the finishing touch was to just outline that arrow now with my gold Krylon leafing pen. And let me know what you guys think, but I think this turned out super adorable. I absolutely love this one.
Now for the next one, we're gonna make a little welcome sign here. And I'm taking an 11 by 14 canvas from Dollar Tree. And basically I just created a grid pattern about like one inch squares approximately on here. I did that with a black Sharpie. So I then came back with more of this copper tone marker. I think I got this one in Dollar Tree as well. And I made lines on either side of the vertical black Sharpie lines. I did a second line with the copper. And then I just filled in with more lines where I wanted them, some going horizontal as well. And now you can see I am doing lines with a gold pen. This one was an, a gold ornament marker and it was also from Dollar Tree. So basically just creating like this striping plaid pattern using black, gold and copper markers and then i took two more of those burlap leaves i did pull the back wire off of one of them so i could glue it on lower down and then one i left the wire so you would actually have like a leaf stem there and then i took these this welcome sign from dollar tree i glued that up at the top and then just added a single little wood leaf ornament decoration here as well really really simple super cute and easy to do and i just thought this would be something fun to prop up on your foyer or entryway table somewhere when guests or when you enter your home. I just thought this would make a really cute sign. Moving on to the next one, I have another one of these wreath forms and I only had a little bit like less than one roll of the burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. So what I did was actually wrap it around the frame very loosely, not to really cover the frame. We're going to fill it in with flowers and stuff, but I basically just wanted to make it easier for myself to be able to glue things onto the wreath. So I did wrap the burlap that I had left around there. And now I'm gonna go in and fill in with flowers, starting with this tan golden color hydrangea. And I made three groups of those on this wreath. I then took the leaves and filled in around with the leaves, as well as with a bunch of these orange Oh my goodness, I forgot if these were like mums or dahlias now, but these are, are more of like a peachy, orangey color tone. So I added some of those in there along with, of course, some fall leaves, the maple fall leaves. And those leaf picks actually have some little mini berries and like gourds or some kind of squash or pumpkin thing on there so i just glued all of those in however looked good to me in basically i'm making three bunches and i'm going to fill them in until they connect and this way all three bunches will be kind of symmetrical and then i'm going to come in and add my larger bow in here now for the bow i am making some bows out of gathering the folds of this orange deco mesh along with this gold lacy shiny lacy type mesh ribbon that i found in dollar tree this is really pretty i wasn't sure if it was going to be too glam i basically folded this over like maybe four times some four or five times something like that and then gathered all of those loops in the center and tied that together i did not have any more wire so i actually tied this together with a little piece of cotton twine but it kind of worked out okay anyway so now what i did was go ahead and try to fan out all of those little loops for our bow and then just fan it out so they actually look more like a bow so i did take some raffia or actually this is from a luau skirt from dollar tree and i just made a bow out of that and then hot glued that into the center and i think that that adds a little bit more of a rustic farm type touch to this so that it's more rustic glam and it doesn't feel too glittery and sparkly and then i did take a little piece of twine and tie that where i wanted the top to be for a hanger and glue that there in place so we can hang up our wreath here is how it turned out taking four of these mirrors from Dollar Tree. These are the eight by 10 mirrors and they are the same ones that I used to create that seven foot tall mirror, the Dollar Tree DIY mirror. It is the largest DIY that I have ever made from Dollar Tree. But a lot of you said you can't find these mirrors any longer in Dollar Tree. So don't worry about that. All you really need here are the frames 
And now I'm gonna spray paint the black frames with a smoky beige color. So let me know what color would you make these frames. For now, I'm going with the smoky beige. And to reinforce the back, I'm gonna just use some of these jumbo craft sticks. These are from Walmart. You can get a whole big package of them. Otherwise, you can just get the jumbo popsicle craft sticks from Dollar Tree and use those. Basically, I'm just hot gluing them on for a little extra support on the back. Now let's move on for the next part of this DIY wall art, wall decor for fall. I'm going to take one of these half wreath rainbow frames. Now I already have one of these, but if you didn't have this, you could take um, the larger 18 inch wreath frame from Dollar Tree and then use some wire cutters and basically use half of the wreath frame and that should work fine. <laughs> so it would actually be cheaper because then you would get two of them. I wanted to just cover this with some ribbon to make it a little easier to glue flowers onto here. I have three varieties of flowers here in shades of beige, orange, and purple and I've just got two bunches of each and I'm gonna just cut all those stems and hot glue them all the way on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this now on top of the frames. I'm actually gonna tie it with a little bit of clear fishing line, which has a super great hold, and it will also be a way to do it without damaging. So if I wanna remove this, I have a perfectly good frame. It's not gonna damage the paint or anything. Now I do wanna add a little sign on here. I pulled this sign off of one of the other Dollar Tree signs because they had it had like this raised portion that kind of looks like a ribbon banner and it actually kind of looks metallic but it's it's looks like a metallic ribbon <laughs> if that makes sense i did use some hot glue and another one of those giant craft sticks from walmart i stuck that on the back here just to kind of give it a little extra support but so cute i just love how this turned out let me know what color you would make the window frame part of this and if it was you, would you add the mirrors back in? I think it would look really great with the mirrors, but I'm also kind of liking it without, if that makes sense. Let me know what are your thoughts. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. And this one is a home sign. So I basically just embellished a Dollar Tree sign a while back. Uh, I think I did this one back in the springtime, but I'm gonna take it apart. I got suddenly a new idea for this because it looked kind of like spring decor and I've had this for all summer and I just got an idea to like mix it up and something I wanted to do different now and repurpose this piece from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna pull off those pink flowers and then I'm going to to paint the bottom third of the sign with some gold chalk paint. You could actually paint it tan, white, beige, gray, brown. Basically, it's going to be a basket, if that makes sense. So paint it something that could look like it's a basket, <laughs> whatever color you have. I just ordered this gold chalk paint, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to kind of give it a try. Now, for the texture on here, I want to give it a little bit of a basket texture. So my thought here was to use some of the rubber non-slip pad from Dollar Tree that you would put under a rug. It's that non-slip rug pad and you can get a whole bunch of that in Dollar Tree. I was going to use that and then I had the idea to actually just use this piece of scrap that I have laying around. I had ordered these marble tiles on Amazon and used them to make coasters in the past and I was just thinking, you know what, I could pull this last remaining marble tile off and then use this um, mesh for this basket DIY. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut a piece of this mesh out, but basically you can use any kind of mesh that you want, including that non-slip rug pad from Dollar Tree. I just cut a piece of this to fit where I wanted my basket to be on here. And then in order to keep it down, I actually just used a little bit of masking tape around the top edge and the bottom edge, but really cheap. You could use ribbon if you want to. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our flowers. Again, you can always go through the store and pick out a color combination that looks good to you and will fit with your fall decor. But I am using lots of shades of like oranges, light oranges, I guess, kind of lighter orange shades along with some purpley mauves and some creamy beiges. And I think this all looks so pretty together. So kind of a similar color theme to the previous DIY. 
I'm also going to start with layering in some leaves here for the base. So these are just some random green leaves. I had these left from another DIY. And then I've also got some of these orange leaves here. So I think these ones are newer this year because they're like a peachy shade. And they're just um, these maple leaves with some little pumpkins. So I've got a lot of those leaves to layer in here. And then I'm going to fill it all the way or the rest of the way up to the top with a combination of flowers. So it's kind of a twist on a fall flower basket. So it's kind of, it looks like a flat wall flower basket that you could kind of hang on a door. You could hang it on the wall. It's taller than a basket would be, I suppose. Um, you could also make your basket portion taller if you want. I, mine is kind of short. <laughs> but anyway, I think this just turned out really cool. Just kind of a unique twist on the concept of a flower basket slash a fall flower wreath. So anyway, again, whatever colors you like, but I really like how this one turned out. The next one is actually a really super simple um, twist on these this Farm Fresh pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree. I decided to go ahead and paint this pumpkin over with my metallic copper chalk paint, the orangey pumpkin, I painted it over. And then that middle blue one, the blue doesn't work with my decor. So I decided to actually paint that one with an ivory color. I can't remember, it might have been called sheepskin. I'm not positive. I think this was sheepskin. I did leave that burgundy one for now. I think I'm going to keep that color just because I do have some shades of purples in my decor. So I think I'm going to keep that one and move on now to the wagon part. So I painted the wagon over with some white chalk paint and I did fill in there in between the wheels. And the last little bit of white chalk paint, I just kind of dry brushed down the top portion of the pumpkins. The last thing I wanted to do was add some gold letters on here. Dollar Tree has so many different types of letter stickers, so you can really create any saying or any kind of words for fall, any kind of theme, and just decorate your decor like this. But this would make a really cute wall hanging. You could also hang this in a fall tree. For the next one, I have two glass jars, or they I guess they're candle holders, two glass candle holder jars from Dollar Tree, which I'm gonna give them a coat of the smoky beige Rust-Oleum paint. And once those are dry, I've also got these little black trinket dishes. They're kind of like little ring holder trinket dishes. I found these a little while back in Dollar Tree and thought I want to do something with these, but I have no idea what. So I actually found that these two particular glass candle holders um, work as a base and the two little trinket dishes fit pretty nicely in the top to make a lid. So I'm gonna paint these flower trinket dishes with my metallic copper chalk paint. And once that was dry, I did come back with a little bit more of a really bright metallic bronze copper color to add in the center and just kind of brushed it out like the center of the flower petals. So it just adds like a little bit of shimmer and shine into the center there. So here is how they turned out. They're not exactly fall decor. You can totally use them any time of year and you can totally do this with any colors that will fit with your decor. Now for this next one, I debated whether or not to show you guys the first part here because I came up with an idea which was a complete fail, but no worries. 
we saved the day and it turns out really cute in the end so i guess i will walk you through the whole thing i just painted that recessed part with the metallic copper chalk paint i ended up actually trying to use this air dry clay i got this one in michael's for the kids and i decided to kind of try using that in the center and this was kind of working out pretty well i did a layer of the clay in the center here and on these raised portions and then i used the end of a small paintbrush to just drag little bits down and kind of make it look like feathers so that was kind of my idea is to just give it a little bit of texture it almost reminds me of like a feathered texture however it ended up looking really good but once it dried it all was crumbling off well not all of it some of it actually was stuck on really well and i had to scrape it off but the majority of this was actually just crumbling off super easy so yes that does not work but I wanted to still use this pumpkin especially because I've already added some berries and pine cones and leaves at the top and it was just too cute so I wanted to do something with it and I had this piece of craft or scrapbook paper it was probably from Hobby Lobby I'm going to guess but really you can get these 12 inch square scrapbooking papers from most any craft store I just took an X-Acto knife and laid it on there and kind of cut out a piece to fit all of the raised edges and just used a tiny bit of hot glue to stick that down. Any glue would work. I love how this is turning out. I did have to go back with that copper paint and touch up, you know, just some of the parts that had gotten scratched or kind of cut a little bit there. So I touched it up a little bit. And anyway, here's how it turned out. I actually think it looks way better than my original idea did. And I just, I love how this one turned out. The last thing I decided to add is actually I layered on a couple little bows on here just to complete the look and I think it turned out beautifully. The next one is a picture frame and I know picture frames aren't really fall decor but I wanted to dress it up for a fall photo frame so I've printed off some of our fall photos and I wanted to frame them so I have a variety of different ones here and I wanted to try some things with these Dollar Tree frames so I'm taking a 5 by 7 frame here I used just a tiny touch of hot glue to make this stay down in the center but really what's going to hold it down are these beaded stickers so these rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree anyway I just added like leaves, berries, a pumpkin. You can add some bows on here if you want. So many cute little options and really into printing off some of our seasonal photos and putting them up around the house to just kind of enjoy and look back on memories from some of the previous years, stuff that we have done for that holiday or that season. Really fun and a great way to decorate for fall. this kitchen signs these black and white plaid signs from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna also be using 12 of these wooden Jenga blocks these are actually from five below I'm using wood glue to make four sets of three blocks each and then once this glue is dry we can go ahead and paint these now I'm also gonna paint the center of the sign where it says bless this kitchen and just do it over with some black chalk paint actually white chalk paint might look really good and you know you can totally paint these signs completely I just thought I would give it a try and see if I could kind of keep that plaid design on there and kind of incorporate that into the the design of this lantern so anyway I'm gonna we're gonna go ahead and just paint over the middle there I'm also going to completely paint these wooden pieces now with black chalk paint and these are gonna be the sides for our lantern Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun so let those dry and once everything's completely dry I am going to just attach this all with wood glue I'll see if I can link the one that I'm using here down below I had a different one that I'd been using for a couple of years and that one was really great however I kind of like the cap 
better on this one. I know that that's kind of random and weird, <laughs> but basically both wood glues work really great. But this cap has been easier for me to close and open and it just close and open it just seems like less glue gets stuck so it's not like jamming up the cap with and then the glue is hardening in there so i've had no issues with the cap on this one set this aside and just completely leave it here for like a whole day so that all of this wood glue can dry i've got my one sign as the bottom with the four corners with those wooden pillars that we made and then the other sign right on top of that you could actually paint the inside part underneath of that top sign and you could just paint it um, if you want to but nobody's really going to see that part so it's totally optional and i should mention that i would only recommend using this lantern for like flameless led battery candles i would not use a real candle in here just because it is wood on top and you know it could potentially be flammable so definitely just use these with some led candles add some pumpkins and some fall florals and you can just make the top look really pretty and festive and then i can also change out the top later if i want to pull that stuff off and maybe add something more christmasy on top and it's just a basic black and white lantern so i think it can totally go with fall or christmas decor really any time of year i lose my breath whenever i see you you stole my heart what is it that you do my life was great till you added color Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So for this one, I have this little wooden sign that says home from Dollar Tree. I got this one actually a while ago, so hopefully they still have this. If not, check Hobby Lobby and sometimes their wood stuff goes on sale like half off. So you can always get it then or use a coupon at Michael's. But I did get this in Dollar Tree. So I'm just hoping that, you know, maybe you guys already have a sign that you wanna use or like I said, you can always pick one up from another craft store if you can't find it in your Dollar Tree. And now I'm taking one of these metal wagon wheels from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add a bow on here. So I'm just gonna layer really easily, just tie up some bows with different ribbons from Dollar Tree. I'm starting with this plaid one and I just made a really big loopy bow and then I'm gonna use the narrower burlap ribbon that Dollar Tree has and make another little bow to put in the center. And I am going to come back and add an even smaller bow in the center of that. But before I do that, I wanted to kind of see how all this was looking with the colors. So I'm going to hot glue some flowers in here, really natural traditional fall colors for these fall decor this fall wreath or it could be fall wall art if you just want to hang this on the wall or on a door and after i finished adding my flowers i wanted to add a little bit more of a bow so i made two more little bows with this orange plaid ribbon and i just kind of hot glued those right into place there now let's go ahead and add our sign. So I did try to line it up so that as much of the wagon wheel spoke, that metal spoke, would be kind of laying across and connecting like across the H there and just kind of across the center of the letters so that the sign will be centered, but it also gives me as much room as possible to kind of cover that metal wire there with hot glue. So I have as much hot glue like securing it as possible. And that is going to keep our sign in place. If you want to, you could also use like a clear fishing line. So here is how this turned out. Really pretty fall wall art or a fall wreath. You could put this on your front door, but just a really pretty piece of fall decor to use somewhere around your home. Now the next one, this is actually kind of a little bit of a remake. So I have these two vases from Dollar Tree. I had glued them on to these candle holders that I actually got for a dollar a piece in Goodwill. I would recommend if you have 
painter's tape, tape off your glass vases with painter's tape. However, I have painter's tape, but I only have a wide one. Like I think it's an inch and a half wide. So I really wanted something narrow. This one is probably only a quarter inch wide. And so I really wanted something super narrow like that. So what I ended up using that I actually have two rolls of is this double-sided tape. So you don't need double-sided tape for that. I feel like it's kind of a waste, but at the same time, like it worked. <laughs> um, you can probably also use like masking tape from Dollar Tree. That would be a little bit narrower of a tape, but again, this is like half the width of the masking tape. So yes, I guess if you want a really narrow line, let me know if you have any other ideas of what we could use here for this. But for now, my double-sided tape kind of did the trick pretty well. So I spaced this out so that I would have three quarter inch opening and then I did a piece of tape and then a quarter inch and then a piece of tape and then another quarter inch. And then I started over leaving another three quarter inch space again. So I am going to make the two smaller spaces have black paint, black chalk paint and white chalk paint. And then for the larger space, I'm gonna use my metallic copper chalk paint and I think that's going to tie in with all of the copper and oranges that I actually have around my home right now for like you can see these curtains behind me <laughs> and also um, in there's lots of oranges like burnt orange and stuff like that in my fall decor and we do have a lot of copper accents around our home so I thought I would give this a try and just kind of see how this turns out and then for the base I just painted the entire thing over with white chalk paint but once this is all dry you can go ahead and remove your tape just be careful if you are using the double-sided tape in order to get this width like I did um, when you start removing it if the top is separating and the tape is getting left behind and stuck on you can always start from the other end and make sure you grab that top wrapper part and the tape together and then do it from the other end. If it's getting stuck at one end, just try pulling it off from the other end. And once I kind of got that technique, I had no more problems getting the rest of it off. And then I just hot glue these together. If you want a really super great permanent hold, use something like E6000, something meant for gluing glass together. But you know, for me, I often like to take things apart later, paint them, change them, you name it. So for me, I'm gonna just use hot glue and I will be putting another set of my LED flameless battery candles in here. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I also decided to finish decorating these candle holders by adding some florals on here. I just hot glued them on, so it's gonna be really easy to pull this off if I want to change these for a different season. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Okay, so let's move on now. And for this one, I wanna go ahead and make a wreath. And I'm gonna give this one to my sister. So I showed her a few different bunches of color combinations that I could do for her. And the, this is the combination of colors that she picked. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this wreath together. I am using an 18 inch wreath frame from Dollar Tree. And so here is my recommendation now. You can wrap your wreath with some ribbon, any kind of ribbon from Dollar Tree. This is definitely a little more expensive way to do it, covering the wreath frame with this cotton rope. So I don't really recommend that. The only reason that I am using it is because this is left over from another project. And so I am just kind of reusing it. I already had this frame completely covered with the cotton rope. So I'm gonna just go ahead 
ahead and glue all of my florals onto here but again like I said it would be a lot cheaper to just buy a single nine foot roll of ribbon in Dollar Tree and use that to cover around your frame so you just kind of have a base to glue your flowers on since the frame is going to be covered with flowers anyway I'm going to start by doing the leaves first so I'm kind of sticking them down in between the ropes and then adding a little hot glue to keep it in place you can also do that even if you have the ribbon just kind of stick them things underneath the ribbons and into place like that I do like using a couple different textures so even if you want your wreath to be kind of all the same color it looks great to add in a little bit of green maybe like a pop of green or brown and also if you're doing it all in the same color sometimes it still looks good if you mix and use a few different types of flowers that are all in that similar color range but anyway i'm gonna give this one to my sister so hopefully she loves it i know she was hoping to get a fall wreath soon for this one i'm taking one of these pumpkin signs from dollar tree and they have a little word on them so they had a few different ones i have one that says grateful i'm just gonna take that off it was actually super easy to take this little metal sign off came right off and I'm gonna paint my whole pumpkin over with some metallic copper chalk paint and then once that's dry I'm gonna take some little tiny wooden beads so Dollar Tree does have some wooden like hair beads and things like that that you could use they also have small pearls in their craft section but if you want to get these small wooden beads I actually got them on Amazon I think I'll put the link below for it and they come in a box that has like a whole bunch of different sizes so I just picked out a bunch of tiny ones for this DIY hot glued them all the way around the edge and then I spray painted the grateful sign over with some metallic gold spray paint so that looks really pretty and glued that back onto our pumpkin And then I wanted to kind of embellish the top part a little bit. So I started by taking a little bit of rope and gluing that around the stem of the pumpkin. I was actually thinking about using like a piece of wood. Dollar Tree has some of those little bags that have little logs, little wooden logs. However, I didn't have one that was really wide enough to cover the stem and you were gonna kind of still see the stem, but it's a really great option. Like if you have a piece of a stick or some wood or something from like outside, you know, that would be a really cute option just to use a natural piece of wood instead of even using the rope. So, you know, up to you. You could always paint it over with a different color paint to accent it. There's a lot of options. Now, I added some stickers on here. I actually came across these the other day when I was kind of cleaning through and organizing some stuff, and I found this pack. I, I believe it's from Hobby Lobby, and I think Michael sells them as well but they have these like scrolly metallic glittery i guess they're more glittery gold stickers that are really swirly florally designs really pretty and somehow they just suddenly inspired me and reminded me of pumpkin vines Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. My mother-in-law loves sunflowers and I know that she's been wanting a fall wreath. However, I did an 18 inch wreath for my sister and I know she said that that was gonna be too big for her door where she wants to hang it. So I'm gonna use one of these little frames here. So it's a smaller wreath frame. It might be 14 inch maybe, like 12 inch or 14 inch. So hopefully this is gonna be like the perfect size for her door. And since she loves sunflowers, I got started here adding a lot of sunflowers. You could honestly just go all the way around if you want with sunflowers, really easy. But I ended up coming back and actually pulling a few of them out and adding in some of these other little pieces 
pieces. So I had a couple bouquets that had white sunflowers, but they also had these little pieces of like wheat, um, some kind of grassy wheat and pine cones like mixed in with the sunflowers. So I wanted to kind of add those in all the way around. So I just kind of spaced those out. I wanted to come out and show you guys the finished sunflower wreath because somehow in the process of finishing filming, doing the bow and ribbon and adding in the rest of the flowers, one of the times I pressed record and it cut off in the middle. And then the other time I forgot to press record. So anyway, that is why I actually don't have any footage of it. But here is how I finished making out this wreath. And I think it's like about a 14 inch frame. I didn't actually specifically measure, but here is how the back looks. And then I've got my little bow in here, which I just did two different ribbons from Dollar Tree. I've got that plaid check ribbon and then also the green one. They're both new, I think this year. I think these are, this is the first year that I've seen these. So I really love how it came out. I hope my mother-in-law likes this for her door. I know she wanted to put one in her door in the kitchen. So yeah, hopefully this is gonna be perfect. Okay, the next one is also going to be for my mother-in-law. Again, she wanted some fall decor and I know she loves sunflowers. Now I just found these tin cans in Dollar Tree. I thought they were really cute. They were in with the fall decor and I, I just found them the other day. So hopefully if you guys are looking, you'll be able to find these in your Dollar Tree as well. And I'm sticking a pack of styrofoam down in the center. The one that has the two styrofoam discs in a pack where you get two for a dollar. So that is the perfect size. I just popped that right down inside this pot and it's really the perfect size to make your arrangement in your bouquet. If you wanna keep that styrofoam a little bit higher up so that um, the flowers stick out like higher from the bouquet, you could always add some rocks or something into the bottom of your can and that'll give you a little bit more weight and stability and it'll also help you get a little more height because the styrofoam will be like higher up in the pot. But I'm using lots of these yellow sunflowers here along with some of the cream, white colored berries and pumpkins and flower, white sunflowers and yellow sunflowers for a nice mix of a bouquet here. The next one is again a super easy fall decor DIY that anyone could do. This is just a piece of cake to make. <laughs> so I'm taking two of these frosted glass candle holders, but honestly Dollar Tree has lots of little glass votive holders and tea light holders. So you can use, you know, a set of whichever ones that you like. I happened to already have these on hand and I'm gonna use these taller, tea light holders as well. I'm using the medium size and the larger size just so I have a little bit of height. Before I do that, I was trying to figure out the best way to get this bow to be attached. The best way to attach them is to kind of fold and tie that little twisty part of it. And we're going to hot glue that right underneath the frosted glass part. So I placed that little foil tie from the bow right on the the top of the glass and then i added the hot glue and pressed my frosted glass cup on top of that so it kind of the little um twisty tie from these bows is basically sandwiched and glued into the center of the two glass pieces so it holds it in place just beautifully just perfectly and i'm going to add a little sunflower in the center of the bow it just adds the perfect fall colors and brings in that little summery touch of sunflower i just think it's so pretty so beautiful for some september fall decor i am loving this now you can also add add on something to decorate the glass or you could paint the glass. I decided to try out taking some of those swirly glittery gold stickers and placing them kind of around the base going up the stem a little bit. I am taking two of these Halloween signs and I'm going to paint the backs of them with some white chalk paint. 
once it's dry i wanted to add some lines down here it has some grooves at the end so i kind of am using those grooves to make these look like they have boards now on the backs of the signs i want to connect these together to make them taller if you were to use paint sticks on the back i think it would give you a lot more support so i am using some jumbo craft sticks here these come from walmart and i think it was about two dollars for this pack so i'm just going to use a mix of some hot glue and some wood glue and kind of put these across the back here across the seam from these two signs i'm gluing them across here to just kind of give this more stability and this is going to hold it does work pretty well but the board does still have a little bend you'll see when it's all finished so it's okay with me because i plan on kind of just standing this up against the wall standing it up in the corner so it's going to work fine for that but if you're worried about it you could try layering multiple signs or with these two beware signs that I want to attach together you could get a third beware sign and glue that one like in the center of the two on the back side there hopefully that makes sense but that would be thicker and much more supportive flip this back over and now that it's all connected the last thing I'm going to do here is add these pumpkin signs and I thought about decorating them you could add some little flowers on here you could leave them as is it's totally up to you but I picked up one that says grateful one that says thankful and one that says blessed and I just kind of turned them a little bit on angle here and used a little glue to attach them again you could use some hot glue and or some wood glue but one of them is kind of going across that middle seam and then there's one above and one below so they stay on here pretty well and you could just stand this up in the corner you could use it indoors or outdoors however if you are going to use it outside where it might get wet you're definitely going to want to cover this with like a ton of mod podge or something like that but anyway here is how this one turned out like i said you could add flowers on the top or the bottom you could add bows there's a lot of options here on for the next one i'm taking one of these thankful signs from dollar tree and they do have them in a few different words that i've seen i wanted this to be more of a rustic farmhouse type fall decor and so i felt like the black might look better with farmhouse decor or with modern farmhouse decor so let me know what you guys think but now i'm taking these three wooden blocks from dollar tree they're like wooden home decor signs hopefully you can find these i actually haven't seen them recently the last few times that i've been in dollar tree i haven't seen these but i had these already for a little while and so i wanted to use them up you could probably find some other signs though because dollar tree is always getting new and different signs you know even like those beware signs you could do two of those kind of horizontally and stack them that way and you know just be creative with this glued them together with hot glue and press them really tight you can use wood glue if you want and then i gave this two coats of white chalk paint so i wanted to take some of this cork foam sticker adhesive it comes in like an 8 by 11 sheet in dollar tree and so i wanted to take that and just cut like narrow pieces of that i used my paper cutter to do that and just cut some pieces here that i would use to cover the lines where we glued those three wooden pieces together it almost looks like the reverse of like a log cabin wall um like a cabin wall with like the chinking in between or it looks a little bit like a fence i don't know i just i feel like it has a really rustic touch and i really like that about it and then i just put that down the seam of the wooden pieces and then glued on my thankful sign on top just took this little sprig of fall floral bouquet from dollar tree and kind of bent that over the top and glued that little flower in there just to complete the look and kind of hide that weird imperfection where it's kind of like a little rough so here is how this thankful sign turned out it was just really easy and fun so cute 
Now Dollar Tree has these wooden fall truck signs, so that will work fine. I actually have this truck sign already left over, so I'm just gonna use this one because I found it in my craft stash. Now I'm gonna paint this red truck body over with my copper chalk paint, and I bring in kind of that burnt orange color into my fall decor. I also brushed the rest of the brush of chalk paint just kind of over the hearts that are in the back of the truck. I mean, this is optional because we're going to be completely covering that part, but I thought just in case any of it shows through the wood, I thought it would be better if I just kind of paint it over the back a little bit just to kind of blur out the pink and red. Now I have a bag of wood pieces from Dollar Tree and again I had these in my craft stash so I'm using them but you can totally gather some small sticks and branches from outside and use those and I just hot glued a bunch of them in the back of the truck and layered them all the way up so it looks like this truck is delivering some seasoned firewood perfect for a cozy fall and winter and this is going to make some really cute little kind of farmhouse rustic decor. I did the finishing touches just using a Sharpie paint marker on here. You can even add a farm name or a family name or a year or anything on the truck door. Just kind of have fun with this if you want to customize it. And then I propped this up on our entryway table with my other decor. The best thing that worked for me was just standing this up somewhere. I leaned it up against these candle holders that I have and I think it turned out really cute. You could put it on a shelf you can put it in a coffee bar area or in a foyer entryway table. I mean, it's really cute and the easiest thing was honestly just leaning it up against something here and just kind of nestling it in with my fall decor. The next one could be hung on a wall or in a fall tree or even used in a fall tiered tray if you do one of those. All I did was mix up a few drops of antique wax in with some water to make my own paint stain for this wooden plaque from Dollar Tree. If you have wood stain that you like though, comment below and let me know because eventually I think I'd like to maybe try a real stain, but this is just super cheap and easy to do. And you can even just mix some like brown acrylic paint in water and it works great. And it just adds that little bit of color to your wood to give it a stained look. And it basically costs nothing because I'm just using some paint I already have. Now, I love that Dollar Tree has these super cute faux ears of corn in their fall section this year. They come two for a dollar and I'm using three of these ears and tying the stalks together at the top. So I have two ears of corn on the bottom and then one of them kind of resting on top in the middle of those. And then you can just embellish this now with a bow and some tiny pine cones or pumpkins. These come together in this little pumpkin scented set satchel of pinecone potpourri from Dollar Tree and so you can just use the ones that you want and glue them on but here is how it turned out it can be really cute wall decor like I said for fall or put this in a fall tree or in a fall tiered tray just a super easy cute little fall corn DIY Now I'm taking this little bucket from Dollar Tree and I'm pressing some styrofoam floral foam. I know I did a sunflower one recently that I gave to my mother-in-law. This one's gonna be a little different twist or take on the same idea, but this one's gonna be for my parents. So I did my best to find some Dollar Tree florals that had softer, more muted browns, oranges, and burgundy tones to fit with like the dark natural look of the log cabin in the woods and then also to match this Dollar Tree tractor decor piece that I want to add in the center of the arrangement. So this is going to be perfect for their country farm with the tractor and everything. For the next one now, I'm making a little mini wreath using a small wreath frame. This comes two for a dollar at Dollar Tree, and I'm starting by covering it with some ribbon. So I actually got a bag of ribbon for free recently that someone was throwing away. And to be honest, I don't love the ribbons or anything, but are in there but I do know that they'll work perfectly for projects like this where I just want to use it as a base for my wreaths and certain projects like this that are easier when I wrap the frame 
first with ribbon and then that way I could just glue on all my flowers and everything that I'm using for decor on that frame I could just glue it all on now for this one I'm actually using a bunch of random greenery I had different flowers and leaves that whatever I could find laying around that were kind of left over laying around my flower box and my craft stash and I'm just using all those different little green pieces here to use as a base for a nice cute fall apple wreath and then we're gonna glue these adorable mini apples that I got on Amazon just around and fill in this wreath now let me know do you ever go apple picking in the fall um, I love making apple recipes and I'm probably gonna be doing an apple cider donut um, again which I made last fall and they were so amazing I'm taking two of these wooden hanging decor pieces from the crafters square at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove the little rope hanger pieces and just use the two pieces of wood lay them side by side lengthwise and then I'm taking five of these other boards also from Dollar Tree's craft section I am just really loving all of the wood items that they have now like real wood so cool great for crafting and doing lots of DIY home decor and room decor projects put these side by side and I wiped on um, a bit of wood glue hot glue because I do want to give this like a strong hold but also fast hold an immediate hold so it will stay in place line up your boards so that they will all kind of line up pretty perfectly we're gonna paint over all of this or i'm actually gonna use a walnut stain on it when i'm finished but we do need some feet for our tray and for that i'm taking two of these pencil holders the wooden round pencil holders from dollar tree they have square ones as well so either one would work and you know i got to thinking i glued the flat side to the flat side of the tray i felt like it gave it the most surface area again to use both the hot glue and the wood glue and just get like a really good strong hold however i was thinking it might look a little bit more you know a little more finished and professional if you glued it um, with the pencil holders the opposite way so that the feet were completely like flat and smooth on the bottom instead of having a hole in there under the bottom of the feet i don't think it really matters unless someone picks up your tray and looks underneath and even so I don't think it's a big deal. I, I think it's better the way that I'm doing it just because you are getting a stronger hold because you have more surface area glued together. And you could leave it like this. You could just add like a shiny gloss finish. I'm gonna actually make this dark walnut color. I have this stain already. I decided to style this tray adding a little floral pumpkin pick on each side and just putting a little trio of these candles in the center i love them led remote timer candle um, they have a little remote switch and they just have that nice flicker and glow to them and they look like they're in a glass jar make a great centerpiece for your table or like i have it over on a side table over here for fall but definitely you could customize this for any time of the year just swap out your floral picks and use something in season for the next one i am taking this little vase it's actually left over from an orchid plant that we had and the plant eventually it was growing pretty well but eventually um we had it for almost a year and it just wasn't looking that great and i just decided to toss that plant and just do something different with the vase that it came in so i'm gonna paint over the purple part paint it over with some metallic copper chalk paint and then you could leave it like this just you know you could use any vase and kind of do like this block section half and half but i thought it would be really fun to use some of these little cutout pieces from dollar tree as kind of a stencil and apply the paint on there and then kind of roll the vase across the top of it and basically create like these leaf prints on there so i think it looks really nice for fall like that and you could definitely even pick some things outside in nature to add in this vase for fall time but then if you want to swap it out for a different season it's only paint and it would be really easy to just repaint add another coat of paint on top of 
the leaf prints that we just added. Moving on, we are going to take three more of the round little wooden um, pencil holders. Let me know, have you seen them in your in a Dollar Tree near you? Have you ever seen them? Have you seen them recently? Glue two of them together and then leave the other one separate. You can use hot glue or wood glue. I'm just gonna go with hot glue for this. I wanna do it quickly. And then I found these kind of pinkish salmon color, kind of tapered, crackled glass, and it's a thick glass as well. It's definitely thicker than a lot of the vases in Dollar Tree, so I really like this one. I thought it would make a beautiful candle holder to put some sparkling, flickering tea lights down inside and use these on a shelf. Adding some antique wax mixed with a bit of water on here, and I think it came out a little bit lighter than the walnut wood stain would have but again i think this would look really pretty natural i really debated whether to leave it natural or paint it a little bit darker so love how this turned out we're going to go ahead and actually the the jar the glass jar part sits nicely in the top and i'm going to be using these for led candles i definitely recommend sticking with the led candles they're just so much safer and you don't have any of the risks associated with an actual candle for the next one i took one of these little wooden squares from dollar tree and right on top of it i'm going to glue one of these stone marble balls we're gonna just glue that one right on i'm just doing these with hot glue then i'm gonna on top of it glue on a round pencil holder and i think this is gonna make a really cool little vase i'm also thinking i might put like a small plant in here and use it um as a holder for a small plant maybe even an artificial one just because it's wood but then i wanted to use the same antique wax with a bit of water to dilute it just so it's not quite as dark of a stain it actually still ended up being a little bit darker of a stain than what i was kind of originally hoping for but either way i just i love how this came out and i feel like the wood and i don't know if it's like a ceramic i think it's a ceramic a material but that like stone sphere with the wood combination i just feel like it looks very modern and i love the look of it so can't wait to style this and incorporate it somewhere on my bookshelf i think it'll be really pretty now for the next one i'm taking four of these little wooden crates from dollar tree and i have two of them facing right side up and then in between them, I'm going to put another one facing down. Now, on top of the one that's facing down, I'm going to do one more facing up. So I actually have three in a row that are facing up like normal with the open side up. But one of them is elevated in the center, if that makes sense. And glued that all together and then gave it a generous coat with my walnut finish wood stain. Once it was all done, I actually added some of these little wooden pieces that I found in Dollar Tree, glued them on the four corners to make kind of little feet for our, our flower stand here. And of course, stained those as well. Now I cut up one piece, I have one rectangle of foam from Dollar Tree, and I was able to cut that into basically four pieces. And it worked out perfectly to stick three of them right down in here and we can stick our flowers in there and make a floral arrangement and again you can make this for any season and you can very easily pull out the flowers from one season and add in the ones for another and i almost forgot to mention that i decided to take a bit of this wooden um basket weaving material it's like a long roll and instead of ribbon it's a roll of wood so i decided to measure and cut pieces and just hot glue this on along the lower part around all the way around i thought that would kind of add like a cool touch with the lighter wood accent since we stained it a darker color you can also use a little bit of a raffia 
um, or a hula skirt from Dollar Tree works super well. Cut off a piece of that and make a small bow. Really cute to add a nice little bow on here for fall. You could definitely add something more of a festive bow if you're doing this for the holidays or a different time of year. Um, you can also add on a sunflower on here or any other, any other thing for that matter. I'm going to put this little sunflower on. Let me know if you like it better with the bow or if you like the sunflower accent. But in any case, that is how this one turned out. I'm adding a variety of pinks and oranges, which is going to be so perfect and beautiful for both the end of summer and right on through the fall time. I just feel like it's a really versatile piece that you can change up for the seasons. Let's go ahead now and move on to the next one. This is also related to fall florals and fall flower arrangements. So I took four of these little wooden pallets. They're almost like a little wooden fence from Dollar Tree. And I just glued all four of them together to basically make an open square. And then coated that with some walnut wood finish, walnut wood stain. Once it was dry, that's really all there is to do with this one. Because what we're going to do is just simply take a glass of water and put it down in the middle. And then add in the flowers of your choice. So as we head in toward the end of summer, for us, all of our hydrangea plants come into bloom. And I love bringing them into the house. We have an abundance of hydrangea flowers as we go through the fall time and we can always cut fresh ones bring them in the house and put them in here and they will last for a few days or a week and we could just really enjoy some fresh flowers moving on to the next one we're going to go ahead and make a lantern i think this one would actually work kind of inside or outside so i'm excited for that because i think it'll be really beautiful to style outdoors for the fall time as well i'm taking two bamboo cutting boards along with four of the these other board um like boards from dollar tree and these pieces are i don't know maybe about a foot long each so i have four of them and we're going to glue them um, on all four corners standing up vertically and then glue the other bamboo cutting board on top of that so the bamboo cutting boards are the top and the bottom pieces you might want to use wood glue on kind of maybe on one half and then hot glue on the other just so you get like a really strong and quick hold on all of the pieces so everything stays in place and then for the top there's kind of some options so if you wanted to do it totally from dollar tree I found this square piece of wood and also another little cube of wood so you could put those on to kind of create a little top for your lantern you could also create a little top portion just out of a whole bunch of the like the smaller wooden Jenga game blocks but for me I actually happen to have two of these wooden pieces left over they actually came from a tumbling tower Jenga game set that came from five below and I had a few of the blocks left over so I decided to just glue two of them together and I felt like it was the perfect size so that's what I'm going for in this video. I cut a piece of the cotton rope from Dollar Tree and just kind of hot glued that on each end so this is not really a practical lantern. I would not go carrying this um, around at all <laughs> by the handle it's for decor and looks only but it does look really nice and especially once you give this a nice coat with the walnut stain it just really finishes it off and then you can style this for sure with candles in here let me know if there's anything else that you would add in here i don't know maybe a few pumpkins maybe like stack up some pumpkins in here if you didn't want to do candles but i like adding in some fall florals around the candles especially because i'm not using real candles they are the flameless led variety which is I, the only thing i recommend in here because it is wood we don't want it to get hot and have a real candle on your, under here so definitely stick with the flameless variety stick with your battery candles i will link a few of my favorites down below in the description box you can check those out if you're interested i am 
taking a Christmas sign. You can literally use any of them that they have in Dollar Tree any time of the year. Flip it over. We're going to use the back side of it. So you could actually make this a multi-seasonal sign. I'm going to hot glue a bamboo cutting board, again, also from Dollar Tree, right kind of into the middle part of this sign on the back here. Get that centered in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and stain the sign around the cutting board. I'm just gonna use the wood stain that I have. It is a walnut wood stain. This wood stain actually has no odor, which is great. It really doesn't have any smell. It just dries really nice. It is a nice color. So I found these little laser cutout pieces in Dollar Tree, and I found the leaf ones. I ended up liking this particular one the best, so I hot glued one on each corner, and then I I tied with, you can either use raffia or what I'm using to make my bow is actually a few pieces off of a hula skirt. I think that is the best deal. If you can pick up a hula skirt in the summertime at Dollar Tree, it is way more cost effective than buying a bag of the raffia and it's actually way easier to work with. And then I just made a little fall bucket list on here using some fabric, some like puffy fabric paints. So the brown one I got on Amazon and the black one is from Dollar Tree. And I thought it would be fun to just put some of our family's like favorite fall kind of traditions and things that we look forward to on here. And then I'm thinking I'm going to set this over by our coffee machine and it'll just be like a cute setup over here for fall. Now the next one, I'm, I have a couple ideas for this pumpkin. So I took one of these Dollar Tree pumpkins, which you can use them for carving because they are hollow on the inside. So you could kind of carve something out and put like a little LED candle in there if you wanted to. But I actually painted mine with some metallic copper chalk paint and I have a couple ideas to just kind of show you with this. So for the first one, I thought I would make a little topiary by putting that pumpkin upside down, which gives me a nice flat surface to put my next pumpkin on, which is one of these velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I did pull the stem out of it. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these little leopard ones that I have. I think it's super cute. I got a whole bag of them for pretty cheap at Hobby Lobby and then just make a two or three pumpkin topiary. I think this is super cute. Now, another idea with this pumpkin would be to take that carving pumpkin and now cut out the a hole in the middle and take some other floral picks that you have, whether they are Dollar Tree ones or not. I happen to have these. Um, they are from Hobby Lobby several years ago, actually, because they're ones that I was using to decorate my fall tree, which I love doing, and I tend to do it like a little bit different each year. So I had some of these floral picks, and I thought that this year I would stick them down inside this pumpkin and basically kind of make a little pumpkin, like a fall pumpkin floral arrangement using a pumpkin as a vase. I love how this turned out. For the next pumpkin, I took this one from Dollar Tree, again, taking a little piece of the hula skirt and tying it like a little bow of raffia at the top. I feel like it's such a cute accent for fall. And then I basically just hot glued on a couple other little Dollar Tree fall crafting essentials using some little berries and a little tiny sunflower. Super cute. This would look amazing in any kind of like tray arrangement, especially if you're doing like a tiered tray and you just want some cute little fall accents. You could definitely put this in a kitchen or a bathroom as well. It would be really cute. Now for the next one, I love how this turned out. I think it's really cool. It's really cute and unique and I have never seen anything like it before. I took one of these little wooden Christmas sleds. I had this left over from Christmas last year and I took one of the little wooden crate boxes from a Dollar Tree as well. And I'm gonna glue that on top and this is gonna make kind of like a little wagon, I guess. Now we need some wheels for the wagon and for that, I'm taking two of these round wooden pencil holders from Dollar Tree and I glued them underneath the sled. So this wagon does not roll, obviously. So this is for looks only, but it's gonna be really super cute when it's all finished. So I did this entire thing now with my same walnut stain. As much as I love this dark walnut stain, if you wanna see a little more of the wood grain, feel free to go with a more medium toned stain and I think that'll be great. So as you can actually see, it's a little bit lighter on the body part of the wagon. 
where the wooden crate is, I actually used some water mixed with antique, a little bit of antique wax in there, and kind of diluted my antique wax and brushed that on. Now we're gonna pull out a little more of that hula skirt and cut it up like some raffia pieces. And this is going to be like corn stalks in here. If you ever go to a corn maze in the fall, it is so much fun. And I am going to stick a bunch of little corn pieces in here. So actually that reminds me, Dollar Tree does have little fake um, like corn decoration pieces. However, they are a little larger than this. So I actually got this bag of them in Hobby Lobby on sale last year. And I thought they were the cutest thing and I couldn't figure out what to do with them. So I already had them and I was like, you know what? I am going to stick them in this wagon and we're gonna just make this like a big wagon full of fresh corn for the fall harvest. I think this is super cute. And then if you want to, you can put like a sign on the side of it. You could write on the side. Dollar Tree has lots of little labels and stickers and things like that that you could write on and just basically create your own kind of sign or label to complete the wagon. But it's unnecessary, it's totally up to you, whatever you wanna do, but either way, I think this turned out super cute for the fall. Let's go ahead and move on now. I took one of these little barn signs from Dollar Tree and just got the idea I wanted to paint this over. I'm doing it with some brown acrylic paint. I thought that would be the best option because I wanted it to kind of coordinate with my other decor and I'm using that walnut stain. So you can't really stain this one because it's already painted. So I'm just taking some brown paint, painting over it once that's dry. I'm gonna go in with that little puffy white fabric paint from Dollar Tree and do a little bit of drawing on here. So I decided to kind of draw in some barn doors, some barn windows, and I was debating what I wanted to put at the top. So actually my parents have a barn and they have a door up at the top as well. And that's how they put like the hay up into the loft. However, I felt like if I drew an actual door up at the top above the bottom doors, somehow I just felt like it would look really super weird on this particular craft. Here is how this one turned out. Super cute and really easy to do for fall. Now, the next one is using a little wooden crate here, and I think this is pretty cute for a tiny piece of fall decor. It's not very large, so it's perfect for a small space. It would also be perfect to add into any kind of like tiered tray decor if you like decorating a tiered tray. So I'm actually using this kind of creamy buff color. It's called Warm Buff. I picked it up. It's an apple barrel paint that I picked up in Walmart. The next wooden row down, I painted with some metallic rose gold. And then for the bottom one, I'm using my metallic like copper chalk paint. I did the bottom wooden slat with that as well as both um, solid sides of this wooden crate with the same copper chalk paint. So let this all dry and then we can go back and decorate it. Now for mine, I decided to take the puffy paint from Dollar Tree and draw some designs on here. I wanted to give this actually kind of like a little bit of a bohemian feel. So I created some patterns and designs and then I decided to add a sign and just used one of these simple Dollar Tree stickers glued that on and added um, the paint around the outside edge as well just to kind of finish it off so added the pumpkins in here Dollar Tree does have a variety of like a lighter and a darker orange pumpkin and then they also had like the little plaid pumpkins super cute so I just kind of used a mix of those and I did add the little rope handle on here just cut a piece of rope and gave myself enough room to basically glue it at each end this is from the catering section at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a stone finish spray paint on the inside of it. It's a little bit see-through still, so I think if you did another coat of maybe a solid beige color on top of the stone finish now on the inside, I think that would really complete the look. I didn't have one, so you can also just leave it as is, and this still looks really cool. I'm gonna add some floral foam in the middle and start creating an arrangement. I'm beginning with these cream colored mums from Dollar Tree, I think they're so pretty. And I just did like a row of them down the center and now I'm gonna fill in around them, alternating with some green and brown berries and more of the mums and then also some of the cotton and pine cone picks that Dollar Tree has. 
You can use any color that you want for this. I think these just look really beautiful for some very simple, classy, neutral fall decor that could pretty much go with any decor style. And while you're watching, comment and let me know, have you started any fall crafting yet? When do you plan on decorating for fall? For the next one, I'm taking one of these signs from Dollar Tree. They definitely have signs like this throughout different seasons. This one with the sunflowers is really pretty, and I actually used it in the past in a sunflower themed end of the summer slash fall coffee bar that I did, but I actually wanted to paint the back of it and create something a little different for this year. And to do that, I'm gonna do some chalk paint on the back. It dries really quickly, so I definitely like chalk paint because how fast it dries. And then I'm gonna make some lines on here vertically to just make this look like it's wooden boards or wooden slats. I took a ruler and spaced them about one inch apart, and I'm just using a copper marker that I picked up in Dollar Tree to make the lines and then in order to kind of soften up the edge a little bit I did go back and just kind of dry brush on a little more chalk paint kind of whatever was left on my foam brush here I just kind of rubbed that onto the lines to smooth them out and just make it a softer look a softer more aged finish I guess there's also the two little holes that are in the sign where the hanger used to be here and for that I took a little bit of the spackle from Dollar Tree you don't honestly don't even need much I just rubbed a little bit into those holes and that took care of it so now you can't even tell the whole thing just looks smooth and perfect for a little sign now I'm gonna take this half of a pumpkin and spray paint it rose gold I actually cut it in half last year I used the other half for something last year and I'm gonna use this half now this year for my sign I'm actually gonna try to make this look like a pumpkin shaped coffee mug that's my idea let's see how it works out so for the handle I took a little wooden letter O from the pack of wooden letters that Dollar Tree sells in their craft section and I just painted both of these rose gold and then glued the O on and then the pumpkin on top of it to make a little mug. So this would be really cute and I feel like it needs to say something about hot coffee or pumpkin coffee but I actually decided to just spell out cold brew because it's still the end of summer and I love iced coffee, definitely pumpkin iced coffee, although I'll drink pumpkin hot coffee once it gets a little cooler out. Comment and let me know, do you like pumpkin coffee? If you're a coffee drinker, do you, do you like the pumpkin spice, pumpkin coffee, or is that not your thing? I feel like people either love it or hate it. <laughs> I just spelled out cold brew with the black letters and then I used some little gold stickers to add the little pumpkin in script there up at the top. I think that looks really cute. Added a bow and some little flowers for fall and this sign is done. It's going to look so cute on my coffee bar which I can't wait to style the coffee bar for fall. For the next one I'm making two little wooden pumpkins and to do this I'm taking a two by two inch wooden square from Dollar Tree's craft section along with one of these wooden square pencil holders. And I'm just gonna dilute a little bit of the antique wax with some water and just kind of brush that on to make a light stain. You could also dilute any brown acrylic paint or chalk paint. You can dilute it with water and brush that on and you'll basically get the look of a wood stain. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of white chalk paint, brush that down the sides because I do wanna create a little bit of more of like a vertical line going down from top to bottom just because, you know, that's kind of how the lines on the pumpkins go. So I thought I would do that and then add on these little wooden pieces up on the top to be the little pumpkin stem. These are also from Dollar Tree. You can get a whole bag of them. They're kind of sometimes a little hard to find. I actually got these last fall, so keep an eye out for them because you'll probably be seeing them come out again soon in the store. If you don't already have some or you don't see them right now, they'll probably be out soon. I'm going to add a little pine cones on here you could definitely if you've got some leaves like you know some of the floral leaves extra leaves you could add that if you want I decided again keeping the very neutral tans whites browns colors on here really neutral I thought I would just add some of these cream colored berries 
and a little cream flour as well as the brown pine cones and then I had a little bit of this berry garland as well this is actually from the Christmas stuff which again is going to be out before you know it it'll be out in the fall and they do have it with like red berries red and orange berries white berries I am using the gold berries here we have a small and a large pumpkin and just super adorable I'm going to continue with that wet paper towel that I'm using for my antique wax. I've got my water and antique wax like kind of diluted here. For this one, this one I'm actually going to end up putting in my fall tree. Comment and let me know, do you ever do a fall tree? Do you think they look pretty or, you know, is it something you'd rather skip? <laughs> for today, I'm going to go ahead and create this little pumpkin, a crate full of pumpkins, a pumpkin crate. We're going to spray paint the pumpkins. So I've got a lot of rose gold and copper color. Colors. You could definitely just leave these pumpkins with the orange and the cream color that they come and just leave it like that. That's going to be perfect for fall as well. So you don't even need to spray paint them. I just decided to because I think it's going to fit better with the decor that I want to put on the tree. I'm going to decorate for fall. So stay tuned and you guys will see how that fall tree comes together. But we're going to also add some stickers on the front here. I'm spilling out farm fresh i did add these little gold sticker dots onto the end here of the wooden crate and i love it i think it makes it look so much more realistic because it looks like nail heads and it just makes the wooden crate look so much more realistic and then i love that i can use the gold ones with the gold sticker i think it just really finishes off this wooden crate it makes it look so cute now i need a handle for it you definitely don't need to have one unless like you want to hang it in the tree like I want to do like I said I'm hoping to put this in the fall tree when I get that up in a few weeks so I used some nautical rope and a little bit of hot glue and I just kind of created a little handle here for myself and then with a little bit of raffia I stuck that down inside and added my pumpkin so cute the next one with these pumpkin frames there's so many things you could make out of them I spray painted these rose gold and now i'm just gonna take a little of this fishing line you could probably use a zip tie too but it's a little thicker i like the fishing line because it's clear it's invisible and it just ties like a very tiny clear knot and holds these together so i just did one on each side and that way it's kind of giving this a little bit of stability now for the center in the middle of for my base i'm taking one of these little wooden pallets from dollar tree and some of the wooden blocks so these little wooden cubes i glued one on each corner and this is just going to give us a little bit of a base to create some stability for our center piece now i'm gluing in a piece of foam in the middle so i can stick all of my fall florals and pumpkins into there Dollar Tree has so many options for fall florals, fall pumpkins, you name it, lots of cute things you could stick in here. So I'm going to kind of lay in some of these longer florals and then fill in with the other ones and with some leaves all around. And I am leaving some space in the middle because I want to add some pumpkins in the center. I've got these velvet pumpkins. And then once I lay the pumpkins in there, I can just fill in around any gaps around the pumpkins with some of the extra leaf pieces. So cute, really, really easy. This honestly took basically minutes to make. It was just easy and fun and you could definitely do it in any color that you want. I think it looks so pretty. It's gonna make a great statement piece on the table and it's gonna be just a really beautiful piece for my fall decor. I am taking a little cardboard box from the Dollar Tree. These come with a little lid. We're gonna use that later in the video along with some of this sticky um, contact paper that you can remove the back and it's an adhesive so I thought this wood design pattern one was like really really cool and I knew right away that I wanted to make something with it so I decided to cut out little pieces of it and put it on this box to make the box look like it's actually a wooden box instead of a cardboard box so I actually line mine up so that that center um, vertical line would be in the center of each side going around the box just so it didn't look uneven I wanted it to look as even as possible and peel the back off stick that on I did that all the way around and then for that cardboard lid I just took a little bit of some brown chalk paint and painted that lid and then I actually put the lid underneath 
the box so it's kind of forming like a little edge for the bottom design of the box this is going to be like a little vase you can obviously use it as a lid for the box but i am going to put some florals in here for fall and make it kind of a wooden arrangement so i found these beautiful new fall florals i cut a piece of styrofoam to put down inside and dollar tree had these kind of pink and orange they look like wildflowers or something and i just thought they were really really pretty so i'm gonna do a variety of them in here and then i was trying to figure out where i wanted to use this i think it would look really beautiful with a fall coffee bar however i decided to ultimately put this in our bathroom i think it looks beautiful there and obviously this little box could be filled with any kind of seasonal florals it doesn't even have to be just for fall for the next one i took one of these little truck signs from dollar tree and i decided to actually cover where it says happy harvest even though I'm literally going to write the same thing on here later, but I just wanted to change the style of this. So I had one of these little wooden plaques left over. So I just decided to glue one on there. And then I was, I tried some wood stain that I had, but I did not like how it was, it was just not coloring it very well. So once that dried, I just painted it with my metallic copper chalk paint. I needed to just kind of get it a solid color. And then I used some brown fabric paint to outline the wooden sign in the back and I wrote happy harvest on here as well with the fabric paint let me know what you would write on here happy fall happy harvest I don't know welcome maybe if you wanted to put this by the front door you could put like your family's name whatever you'd like we're gonna fill in above it now with fall florals. So Dollar Tree had some really pretty sunflower bouquets that came with these little kind of burgundy berries and some pine cones. And I thought it was just a really pretty arrangement. It actually included little pumpkins, but I'm gonna leave those out for the sake of this particular arrangement and video. But I just hot glued everything in here. I think it looks so cute like this. And then kind of decided to go back and make a little license plate at the bottom that says sunflower so you can spell that out however you like just to fit in the space i also used some little fab some fabric paint and i tried to make some fall leaves on the side of my happy harvest sign i think i did a pretty poor job on the leaves they it just wasn't working out like i had hoped but overall i love how this sign turned out i think it looks super cute for fall and it's also really bright and cheerful with the sunflowers you can also add in some little picks so dollar tree has these little burgundy berries they also have like a lighter bright orange one but the little burgundy berries i just did two little trios of them twisted them together and then hot glued them in so they're kind of popping up out of the sunflowers and that and the pine cone i think it really completed the look here and i love how this one turned out Moving on for the next one, I love how Dollar Tree has these white styrofoam pumpkins this year. So they usually have the orange ones and every time I wanted to paint them, they require a significant amount of chalk paint to really cover the orange. So I thought that the white one was really nice because it would just be easier to cover, hopefully. Anyway, that's my thought process. <laughs> so I am using this mineral, I believe this is in the color mineral and it's a chalk paint I picked up in Walmart. So I did a quick coat of that, but then because you can see the line of the, like the seam, the horizontal seam where the top and bottom of the pumpkin meet, I, I just felt like it was ruining the whole look. So I wanted to fill that in. And in order to do that, I mixed a second coat of paint. I did about half um, paint and half baking soda, so equal parts and just mix that up in a little disposable cup here and painted now that thick paint mixture on and I feel like it kind of gave it almost like a cement look so it looks kind of like a stone pumpkin and then I did go back with an extra little leaf I had from a Hobby Lobby fall pick and just pop that right in the top and I think this one is pretty much done. Moving on for the next one, I am taking a little wooden tray from Dollar Tree. I thought these were just super cute and I've 
always wanted to do something or make something out of them. So I started out by painting. You can use some antique wax or some chalk paint or wood stain. And then I measured and cut a piece of that wood contact paper to put in the middle. And it gives such a beautiful design. So again, I tried to line it up so that that vertical line would be even like down the center of the tray. And I actually just styled it over here on the coffee table with a little pumpkin and a vase with some fall florals. Moving on for the next one, we're taking this little sled. So this is something I got actually in their Christmas collection last year. I actually glued this in the center underneath another wooden tray. I'm not sure what we're calling this piece. We took it from being just a sled to being more of a wagon, I guess you would say, because now it has the runners on the bottom, but it also has like a whole thing on top. It's more of like a wagon now than a sled. But anyway, painted that whole thing over with some wood stain. Of course, any kind of paint would work for this. And now we're gonna fill it up with some raffia. That would be perfect. Or whatever you have you wanna fill it with. Um, I'm actually just cutting up some pieces from the leftover hula skirt. I literally have been using one of these Dollar Tree hula skirts for over a year now to do all of my little fall and any any crafts that I need a little piece of raffia for. Definitely you can paint your pumpkins. So Dollar Tree has a variety of pumpkins. Um, I kind of thought that these cream color ones with this like greenish brown spots on them, the, to me they look like they're getting a little moldy. So personally, I'm not that crazy about them. So if you have some paint, by all means, go ahead and paint your pumpkins. I do not have any spray paint since we moved. I don't have any spray paint here with me, but I found these little faux leather pumpkins. Love the combination of these two. And we're just going to add them in with the cream pumpkins. And Dollar Tree also had these little white velvety pumpkins. So I'm going to pop in a couple of those as well. And then I did have the little eucalyptus sprig that I got a couple years ago in Hobby Lobby in their fall floral picks. I honestly think that Hobby Lobby has an incredible selection of fall floral picks and just fall floral pieces, like small ones that you can use if you're decorating a fall tree or just to use like this to pop into your fall decor around your home. So now for the last one, I took another one of those little pumpkins and I'm really glad that it wasn't bright orange because if it was bright orange, I definitely would have had to paint it first because this does not completely cover the pumpkin. It's just, it, it covers it most of the way. Here we go again with that luau skirt that we are using as raffia. I kind of cut pe long pieces of it and then just like lightly twisted them and hot glued them to the top, folded it down, hot glued it on the bottom, folded it back up, hot glued it at the top, folded it back down, hot glued it at the bottom. And I just kind of took pieces and went back and forth like this, rolling, or lightly wrapping or twisting together like three or four pieces of this raffia at a time. And it turned out really cute when it was all done. I wanted something kind of fun and unique. And last but not least for the top, I tried it out just gluing in some different little berries and leaves here. And then I ended up taking them out and I just thought it was like too, too bright. I don't know, too much color for this one. I wanted it to be a little bit more neutral. So I actually took off those orange burgundy little berry pieces. And instead I opted for an extra leaf off of a Hobby Lobby pick just to give it more of like a tan and brown appearance, just a little more subtle than the green and the orange and all of that. So you guys know that sometimes I do giveaways for like the LED candles that you probably see here, different sets, sizes. I have indoor ones, outdoor ones. I love these LED candles and I've done giveaways for them in the past, but I thought it would be easier to just maybe do a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway for you guys with fall, Christmas, the holidays, everything coming up ahead. You can either get, you know, craft supplies on Amazon, different paint or glue, or get some candles, get some fall decor, 
Christmas decor, whatever it might be. So if you want to go ahead and enter to win the $50 Amazon gift card, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, Style My Sweets, and leave me a comment down below with the hashtag fall decor so that I know that you want to enter. And then I will leave this open for about two weeks or so and then go ahead and pick a winner. And uh, I'll leave all the information for that down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed these Dollar Tree fall decor DIYs. As always, wishing you a beautiful blessed day and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.